morning merry christmas eve it's so dark because it's been raining all night so i guess it's just gonna be one of them gloomy days let it rain let it snow so i'm just about to um gather all my returns from the boohoo haul and oh my mama just moved into the guest room ma you moved your stuff already No, I just wasn't expecting you to move in already. <laughs> the guest room was not ready for her to come in. I still have to film. <laughs> but about to do my returns. Um, my mom, April, got into town last night. So um, I think she has to go to the grocery store to get things to cook. And I need to make it back home to do other things and get the rest of the house prepared for family to come over. We are having family over for Christmas. Um, we are very blessed to to have them come into town. Well, not even come into town. Only people that came into town was my mom and my grandma and they didn't fly. Um, they did the nine hour road trip just for health reasons um, for both of them. So. They'll be, they'll be here, you know, my aunt and her two kids, they live up the street, so they'll be over. And then um, my sister Chardonnay, who you see all the time, she'll be um, coming up from Chattanooga, which is two hours away with her fiance. And then her twin sister, my sister, um, Ayana and her boyfriend, they'll be staying back home in Chattanooga. Um, they're just gonna quarantine themselves. So they'll be zooming in or FaceTiming during Christmas because they just made it back from Destin for um, um, like a retreat that they did even though they were by themselves. They're just trying to keep it safe and um, their test results haven't came back in yet. So they'll be um, back home, which a lot of people are not all together during the holidays. Very tough time, but we are very blessed to be able to celebrate with the people that we do have. So um, we're just gonna make the best of it. Have a good time still. Um, I am gonna vlog Christmas, so we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We are gonna keep going. So. Okay, I'm just starting my return process. Brought the printer in in here. It's just so much easier, y'all. Just to carry, lug the printer around wherever you need it. Oh no! Since these were different batches, I have to. Um, a little bit different so i guess i have to pay four dollars each time how many batches are there that's it bags in here always use the bags that it comes in and then when I get to the post office I let them use their big huge like tape to like do whatever they need to do to tape it down. Usually they do like a big roll down and they'll just like tape it up and then um, I'll cover up my label with their label. Recycling packaging. All the returns ready for a post office and now we're off
I'm finally sitting down and filming my Q&A. So I'm gonna get ready for that, but I'm debating if I'm gonna curl my hair or straighten it. Um, man, <laughs> I think I want to curl it. Like I wanna have curls for tomorrow, but I don't wanna want it. The dilemma, maybe I should just curl it. I'm gonna straighten it. I'm gonna straighten it. almost forgot to do a liquor store run. Oh my gosh, how sad would that be? I mean, we have alcohol at home, but I want to make um, some spiked hot chocolate for tonight for my mom and I, and then of course we'll have leftovers and then we can drink on it tomorrow as well. Um, so, yeah, so let's see what we can find. We made it to Target. I made it to Target and I don't need anything at all besides hot chocolate. But look at these what do you say? flower pots. I need this. Huh. I'm kind of just showing on the vlog because you know my birthday's coming up. So, birthday gift. Not y'all, my family. <laughs> Definitely family, family hits here. I have this circle mirror here, but I just saw it at TJ Maxx for $39 and they have it here for $60. So if you need a circle mi mirror, TJ Maxx has them for $40 instead of 60. So you save $20. Look at this plastic drink dispenser with the gold dispenser I wonder if I should try it out I wonder if I should try it out for like events to see like if it actually like it's worth it it's, it's $10 so I just wonder it seems like it opens and closes really well so I'm gonna try this out for tomorrow because it's only $10 and we can put like our mimosas in there and it's just cute and I'll let you know how it holds and if it doesn't work, I have other, I have other um, glass dispensers. But I do want to see if, if it actually works out. Okay, let me get the hot chocolate, y'all. They are about to close in like 40 minutes, the woman said when I came in. But the lines are so long because you know, it's Christmas Eve. So the lines are like er, so long. options are limited let me show you so i just picked up this one because that seems like my only option um they have dark chocolate but i'm not fan of dark chocolate they have like um milk chocolate flavor reduced calorie i'm just gonna stick with this option and i got two boxes so that's 16 that's enough let's get out of here I love like books like this for my kids whenever whenever they come I have like a few like little like kid like Obama books Martin Luther King Jr. just in case when they come and those books are not around they'll have them I'm gonna attempt to light the fireplace I haven't done it by myself you should have Michael to help but it's okay I have adult supervision so, it should be fine. Who knows? Just going off in memory of what I saw him do.
I'm just about to add tissue paper to Michael and I's Secret Santa gift. So, um, our, well, my family, we do Secret Santa. This is just the third year that we've done it. And my grandma, my mom, her kids, so all three of us, um, my aunt, her two kids, my uncle, and and then our significant others, we include in a Secret Santa. And how it works is you can't spend over $30. And you, everyone sends in their wish list. So it's five things that they want under $30. And they put it in the group text message. And if you're that, if you get that person for your Secret Santa, then you pick one of those items. It's like a win-win situation. You don't spend more than $30 for Christmas and you're getting something that you want. Perfect. Cause we've all been there where we're just like, what do I get so-and-so? And then you panic at the last minute and then you're just spending money on something that they probably don't even want or that they already have, they don't need. And it's just like, there's no need to waste money here. So we don't waste money. We always get the person what they want and it's under $30 and it's the best thing ever. Uh, I love it. Especially like my list this year, I could have like continued to add things. Oh, that's $25. I don't want to spend $25 on that. But I've been saving it for my secret Santa. So I put it on my Amazon. I already made like a little wish list. So throughout the year, like I was like, mm, that's a little bit too much to be spending, even though it's like $25. I just like put it in my wish list and then bam, hopefully my secret Santa will get it for me. So I'm just about to add some tissue paper. Yes. We're all done. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> like the Secret Santa thing that we do? Yes. It's so much better than like spending all kind of crazy Compared money. Compared to what we were spending, yes. Yes, I don't know why we didn't think about it earlier. I guess we just like spending money. Yeah. Because like we consider our immediate family my grandma and her kids and her grandkids. That's immediate family. Even though immediate family would really be my mom and her kids. Right? No. Yes. Grandparents. No, because someone told me before that we we count too many people for our immediate family. <laughs> Which that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. We didn't include tons of cousins and all that good stuff. Yeah. So our family's just big. Can't really help it. Got the pizza out, late night snack. Let's get settled. I'm so sleepy right now. I'm just about to wash my face for real this time. And go to sleep, y'all. I'm off to bed. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. I'll see you tomorrow.